Aplastic anemia, as you know, it's an immune-mediated bone marrow failure, still an extremely rare disease with incidence between two to four per million. So a couple of unmet needs. Number one is patients who present with acutely with bone marrow failure, with severe infections, uh, who cannot leave the hospital because they have to be on multiple antibiotics and antifungal. These patients need to be treated immediately. They might not be fit for immunosuppressive therapy at that time. So the whole goal for these patients is to treat the infection side of things and to control and also simultaneously think of strategies to improve their blood counts, i.e. the neutrophil count and platelet count. So these patients are very difficult to, uh, difficult to handle. The other difficult group of patients is elderly patients with aplastic anemia who do not tolerate the treatments easily, like they're very difficult to tolerate cyclosporin, which causes toxicity and renal, renal dysfunction. They might not be fit to receive uh, HOS ATG, which is the standard first-line treatment. And also in countries where they do not have approval for l which is a TPO mimetic, which is used, uh, used commonly, uh, those patients might not be eligible because there is no funding for those. So those are a group of patients, uh, two extremes where patients who present acutely with infections and also the elderly group of patients with aplastic anemia who might tolerate the treatments poorly. These are the two things I think are difficult in management of aplastic anemia.